Hey, just on a run with my dog. And I was thinking, cause you know, I gotta videotape this stuff when I'm thinking about it, but I was talking earlier this week. We had a very busy week at the clinic, but um, talking earlier with a few patients, kind of had the same conversation this week over and over again for some reason. It kind of had a theme week. But one of the themes was a common issue with people who've actually who've actually had a had a nice quote unquote nice body. That's obviously um, in relation to uh, the parameters our society decides, and it also depends on the cult you follow. If you're an exercise, if you're in the exercise cult, your standards are much more stringent than the weight loss cult. Um, and, uh, demanding. Sorry, there's a lot of mosquitoes here in Minnesota right now because of how rainy the weather's been. Hey, come here, buddy. Come on. So, and then, um, what happens if you've ever had that thin body and then got attention for it, positively reinforced, is a lot of times we can assume that's, that's one of our assets, like that's an asset that we have, like it's ours. And then, as we get older and things change and our need for food um, becomes uh, less, hormonally, but we keep on eating like like we can eat anybody under the table, you know, because we have that special gift. As you end up, if you end up gaining weight, it feels a lot, lot worse than, than it does to someone who's, who grew up with the extra weight and who never had the opportunity to get all that positive, fake, well, it's positive reinforcement, but it's based on a an illusion of being better than. This can happen to also to people. Well, let me back up a little bit. So, so people that come into my office who are actually within a normal, who are, let's use a different word, anatomically correct, and they come in and say, oh my gosh, I'm so fat. Oh my God, I gotta lose like 10 pounds. Emotionally, they're acting as if they're 200 pounds to someone who needs to be 150 pounds. Or the ratio could also be someone who's 300 pounds to someone who wishes they were 200 pounds. So emotionally, they're overreacting, but it's not an overreaction relative to their standard that's how you get skinny people who say, you just don't understand. I'm totally fat. And then you look at them and you're like, and where is that fat? <laughs> and what are you looking at? They're, they're micromanaging. So ultimately you can have someone who has an obesity disorder in a thin body. That's what we call anorexia. Assuming it's a body image issue. So I don't want to generalize all anorexics. But, in general, in general. So, um, I think it's kind of funny. So those of you who are actually morbidly obese or and have been forever, just keep that in mind when you have some skinny bitch that tells you they need to go on a diet. That, that gives you a quant helps you quantify where their standards are and you can actually have some compassion for them because they feel just as crappy about their, their body. And a lot of times those people are the ones that are obsessing about dieting because they feel like they've lost something they had rather than never having it. So the other thing is um, when you've been morbidly obese, like really big, and you actually attain the goal that you thought was at one point impossible, Sometimes you get stuck in the obsession or fear of regaining. And that ultimately is uh, a lot of times where we get the religious kind of zealotry of food. A lot of times it can come from people who've been morbidly obese, been beast, been inflamed. And they use a micromanaging structure to do or to, to force their body to lose. But in actuality, those... Those patients many times can be uh, 
really difficult to get out of the zealot religion because they, they are so afraid to gain that weight back because they feel they've associated all that obesity to how miserable they were, but they don't actually realize that they're actually, well, they do realize, they just don't understand why, why they're still miserable. So, um, we get a lot of different types of patients or different angles of body image disorders, but for the most part, um, you can probably see yourself in one of the scenarios I painted. So, have a fabulous weekend.